Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We have been cleared for landing. Please enjoy your stay in Charlotte. Okay. Uh, sounds keep go tart. Okay, my head is done with digits in the sense of first time in career. I was called 24 in next win no, over Bobcats. Am I? of Charlotte, North Carolina, sparkling in the sky, just stunning. Welcome oh. basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Hey, why is it looking all the way there? Oh, wow. Henderson and MKG will fill out the wings. Josh McRoberts out there with Bismack Biombo. Sessions. And it's Sessions in at the point. That's the Bobcats five. Whoa, what was that? to get the go-ahead bucket. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post, Clark. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. Cool hands passes to Millsap. One pass. No good. Excellent. Oh, Millsap. Oh, my. Well, Mike Budenholzer, you know, the new coach of the Hawks, spent 19 years with the San Antonio Spurs, including 17 as an assistant. Boy, you couldn't ask for a better teaching than that. And the pass is good. Atlanta's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brick. Doris, over to you. Well, guys, on draft night, a lot of people thought the Bobcats would go big, and they did just that. The question, however, was who would they take? And the answer ended up surprising many. It was Cody Zeller. They said the reason why they liked Zeller was his surprising athleticism, which often goes unnoticed. And if you watch him move out there, he is very athletic, guys. Yeah, an NBA body from day one. Thank you, Doris. And back to Budenholzer, who's with the Spurs for 19 years. Steve, the Spurs, the winningest team in pro sports over the last 15 years. Yeah, I'm glad that Budenholzer has finally gotten his chance. I played for him for Terrible two seasons. Oh, so my God. A guy who loves the game, is very dedicated, hardworking, and uh, has learned from probably the best coach in the NBA during his time in San Antonio. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Bart, just piling up. Points in the pass. Oh my gosh. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. Oh, no doubt about it, giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they're playing with so much energy offensively. The ball is really moving. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Good on the baseline, Jay. And now a six point Charlotte lead. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps for the Bobcats? A great hustle uh, defensively through two quarters of play, contesting everything. Oh, oh, pass. oh my dear, another block. Another big aspect of their game tonight Jeez. has been the fast break transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, not that was single all assist. Early offense. Cool hands passes to Brand. The basket drops. Finally. Fouled on the oh. shot. One free throw coming his way. Really, they've backed off of working it inside. I mean, they not they haven't gotten it inside as much as they did earlier in the game, and I think they've got to get back to that. Jeff Taylor, he's checked in for Charlotte. A lot of high hopes for Elton Brand to revive his dominant ways with the move to Dallas, but he sunk further away from what he once was. And hey, this is what happens. You get older, your play starts to suffer a little bit. Out of bounds, and wow. takes possession. Sure. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Jefferson's checked in for Charlotte. Jefferson. Brand a screen on sessions. In low to Brand. 
Awesome. Shoot, Bratton. Oh Passes my days. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. That's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the oh, road. Game. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. The Bobcats have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throw. Even with the one miss, he still stretched it to a two-possession game. That's big for them right now. Good if it goes. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's all off. Close game yeah, to wrap up the second quarter. Bobcats out in front, leading by four. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. Now, presented by Sprint. Today's The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. This Kimball will go. Here's Walker. And so in the game for the Hawks. Cool hands in at point guard. Horford is out there with Elton Brand. Then there's Lewis Williams. And it's Millsap in at the three. Jefferson dishes to Taylor. Here's Kid Gilchrist. And he drops in the layup off the glass. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. And for Atlanta, they come in off a good outing against Orlando. Cool hands passes to Horford. Awesome. He tries again. He oh, takes it up on, and man. lays it in. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. And Walker kicks to Gordon. Let's it go from the wing. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Oh, wow, Gordon. Hawk shooting under 40%, all in all, for the game. Brand, a screen on Walker. Cool hands passes to Brand. Loses Boss. the man off the screen and lays it up and in. Brand's got 12 points in just the second half. Bobcats leading by 22. Walker dishes to Jefferson. Ben Gordon on the wing. They get a hand on it. Lock at six. And they double up Gordon. And there is Al Jefferson on the assist by Gordon. And that's ten points for Al Jefferson. Well, oh, again, destroyed now. Two, he's finally come around. The first half was not his best, obviously. The pass to Brand. The 11-footer. Again, the Hawks score. What a quarter yes, for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Walker goes in. Nice. Go, go, go. 158 left here in the fourth. What is that? Inside to Jefferson. Yes, it's my steal. Here's cool hands, guarded by Walker. Oh, Brand. Oh, my days, he's trash. Jefferson throws it down. Well, that's a wrap, fellas. No way you come back in this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. Feeds it to Brand. Again, the Hawks good for two. You know, he's got a quick oh, trigger from that range. He something. senses that the defense has backed off. Charlotte leading by 22. And it's Walker penetrating. Kicks it out to Gordon. Back to Walker. There's the dish to Jefferson. Al Horford with the rebound. Oh, what is that spin? Horford's got his eighth rebound here tonight. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. Cool hands passes to Horford, stolen by Walker. What is that? Winding down, it's trying to get in this. Watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a true yeah, show with Kimber. for the Bobcats. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver. It's terrible. And, uh, Clark, this is kind of punishment. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And every win important. Uh, and this one will go down as win number three. Depth always a factor in wins like this. And 
What an incredible game. Out of nowhere it was for Kemba Walker. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything, really, uh, to stop him. The Bobcats, one of the worst teams in the league over the last couple of seasons, actually had the worst winning percentage ever back in 11-12. But they've made a commitment to rebuilding through the draft, and clearly when you do that, there's going to be some pain along the way. Here's Taylor. It's good from long range. They didn't take their Boy, time to this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. Here's Cool Hands. Here's Scott. Hit some rim on the way in, and the Bucks nice score. It. It's interesting. They're like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got energy. You know, it's not going to change anything, though, other than to make their losing. Oh, dude, this is a terrible game. Space. No, I won this. Here's See Pongo. this game again. So no problem. Well, gentlemen, yeah, I'm here terrible. with Al Jefferson. Look at that poor. Ah, my days. Eleven minutes. Did not feel like I played eleven minutes. Feels way less. Can we upgrade? What can we upgrade? Do ball handle but off ball dribbling. Yeah, we get this. So ET or the bar. 